Google Optimize, which is a free A-B testing platform that Google has been supporting since 2012, is about to get discontinued. And no, they're not going to be creating an alternative version inside Google Analytics 4 or anything like that, at least not for now, which means that you simply need to stop using Google Optimize and find something else. And that is exactly what brings me here to you today. I want to tell you everything about Thrive Optimize and why it's the best A-B testing platform to replace your Google Optimize campaigns. Before we get started, a quick friendly reminder to please hit those like and subscribe buttons for me. We've been growing recently, which is great, but we're still a long way from hitting 100,000 subscribers. So please be sure to help me out with that if you can. Now, Thrive Optimize is the best A-B testing solution for WordPress users. But in order to be able to use it, you do need to be using Thrive Architect to build out your pages, which shouldn't really be a problem because it also happens to be the best WordPress page builder out there. You'll find a link in the description down below to learn more about these two tools that we're going to be using today. But now let's see them in action. Awesome. So we have a landing page opened up here with Thrive Architect. This particular template comes with Omni, the second companion theme for Thrive Theme Builder. And what we're trying to do here is we're going to be using Thrive Optimize to test this particular landing page against a similar variation of the same page. Now, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get business owners to download the ultimate app to reach your customers. So it's it's an app that's meant to help business owners reach their customers in a more efficient way. And upon clicking on this download the app button, this is going to jump link all the way down to this opt-in form where people can actually opt in. Now, this is a pretty decent standard uh, behavior for a landing page, but let's try to test, let's try to use Thrive Optimize to test a different variation of this very same exact page. Let's hit on create a new test. Awesome, so we are now in the Thrive Optimize dashboard of this particular landing page. Here we can create new variations for this page. We can completely build them from scratch and create complete new variations, or we can simply clone the page that we were just on and make small changes and small tweaks to this particular uh, copy of, of the page. So let's change the variation in here to landing page two. And let's edit the variation here. So when you're trying to do A-B test variations, you probably don't want to make too many drastic changes, especially if you're only testing two different pages mainly because you want to be able to differentiate what exactly is working and what isn't. If we were to just completely replace this hero section, which may not be the best or the strongest hero section for, for this particular type of landing page, but if we were to completely replace it with, a, with an entirely new hero section, it's gonna be very hard for us to tell if the copy is working or if the imagery is working or if the color of our button is working because we're looking at two complete different things. So we wanna to try to make subtle changes here at the very beginning. So let's just change the copy here in the main H1 text. Instead of the ultimate app to reach your customers, let's do reach your customers in more efficient way. And let's save our work. And once you're happy with the changes on your second variation, we can go back to our A-B testing dashboard and here we can now tell Thrive Optimize how do we want to split traffic amongst these two different variations. So we could technically just hit this button that says distribute traffic evenly. And what this would do is it would send 50% of the traffic to one page and 50% of the remainder traffic to the other uh, page. Or you could manually change this to send, you know, 70% of your traffic to one page and 30% of the other traffic to the other. Uh, to the other page. Let's just keep it to distribute traffic evenly for now. Um, one thing to note is that you can have as many variations as you want. My suggestion here is um, that if you don't have a lot of traffic, try to just stick to two variations at a time. And mainly because if you have 10 people hitting those 10 different variations that you may uh, create, those sample population is so small that I'm not sure that you're going to be looking at, at you know, realistic data to be able to make any, any final decisions or, or conclusions on, on the data that you're being presented with. So as you gain traffic, as you start sending more traffic to your pages, you can afford to have more uh, variations. But if you, if you only have like 
you know, under 100 people hitting each page, then stick to two variations at a time. Now we are ready to set up and start A-B testing. We have a page settings option here at the very top. This takes us to the back end of the WordPress page, which we don't have to go to right now. So we can simply set up and start A-B testing these two different pages. So let's, you know, get come up with a split test name and you can assign an automatic winner once 14 days have gone by or, you know, seven days have gone by or, you know, when you've hit a minimum conversion amount of, let's just say, uh, 500 people and so forth and so on. All right, we can now hit next. So now we need to pick a goal. Goals are important because this is what's going to tell Thrive Optimize how do we determine a winner. In this particular case, since we're trying to capture emails, we would select subscriptions as our main goal. But I do want to touch on this revenue goal here real quick. Something really cool that Thrive Optimize does is that you can send people to two different thank you pages um, according to which page they've landed on. And you can assign different revenues amount for each different thank you page, which means that if you have, if the cost of your product, let's say that we're actually charging for our messaging app, if our messaging app costs $1,000, you could technically have the price of your messaging app be $1,000 on page variation A and be, have it be $1,200 on page variation B. And depending on how much money you're actually making on each different page, you may be interested in using one page with one pricing tier or the other one, which is why this revenue goal here is kind of really cool if you're doing something with selling products, whether they're digital or physical. In this case, again, let's just go ahead and proceed with subscriptions. Awesome, so upon hitting start A-B test, we are being redirected to the back end of our WordPress page. And here we have just a quick little overview of how our A-B test is performing, the number of visitors, the number of subscriptions, the subscription rate, and the margin of improvement. And let's just hit on this call to action that says view test details. So we have been redirected to the Thrive Optimized Dashboard. More specifically, we are inside our messaging app for customers test campaign. And this is a great way of seeing how our pages are performing. We get our graph, we can change the graph type to be conversions or the conversion rate. We can change the um, timing interval, which is pretty handy. And we can also stop the test and choose a winner manually if we wanted to. All right, that's it for today's video. Hopefully, if you were using Google Optimize or were looking for an A-B testing solution, you found this video helpful. I am going to be down in the comment section responding to all of your questions as usual. And to learn more about how Thrive Optimize can help you get more conversions, please do visit the link in the description box. I'm Tony Lewis. It's been a real pleasure and I'll see you guys soon.